and welcome to SLS Unsanctioned. We are here at Volcom's private skate park in Southern California for the second ever unsanctioned event presented by Monster Energy. I'm your host, Andrew Cannon, joined by the man himself, Chris Roberts. Now, today we have 10 of the world's best skateboarders that are gonna be going head to head, and at the end of it, we will have ourselves an unsanctioned champion. Chris, what are we gonna see out there today? We're gonna see extraordinary skateboarding, all these guys are legends, 10 of my favorite skateboarders, hands down. We got Sodies out there. Every, every one of these guys can be a, a skater of the year. So it's gonna be nonstop fun. I couldn't agree with you anymore. It's gonna be amazing. Now, when we look back at our last event, it was anybody's event all the way until the end. We came down to sudden death. It was Jamie Foy versus Deshaun Jordan. Jamie fell on that last attempt. Deshaun Jordan put down the laser flip and boom, he secured victory. It was amazing. Shall we meet our 10 skaters for today? Let's do it. We've got Louis Lopez, Mason Silva, Chris Jocelyn, Taylor Kirby, Elijah Burrell, Milton Martinez, Deshaun Jordan, Tom Asta, Ishad Ware, and Aurelian Giroux. All right, so the way this is gonna go down is gonna be like a traditional SLS event, except with a little bit of a twist. Skaters are gonna get two runs and then five best trick attempts. We're taking the highest scored run and the two highest best trick scores, and that's gonna account for their overall score. All right, so now that we know exactly how the scoring works, let's find out who our amazing judges are. My name is Kelly Hart and I'm from Laguna Hills, California. This is a fun crew of judges because neither Paul or Tori have really judged, had any judging experience on that level. My judging style today will be based off of instinct, just gut feeling, what, I, what moves me. You know, I've been in plenty of contests myself, but as the skater, so this time around it's going to be a little different, so I hope I do a good job. I, I think I'm really going to base my judging style off of how well that they actually land their tricks, the style, and obviously, you know, you want to see a trick that you've never seen before. Anything NBD, that's going to make it nine club. It's all about how it turns out in the end, how fluid it is, how smooth, how difficult, kind of everything added into one. Uh, a laid back event like this is, is exactly what skateboarding needs, you know, and especially all the guys participating in it. I mean, just coming together is so rad. It feels so good just to have a solid group of skaters in the same building. I'm here with Paul Rodriguez. Paul, you skated in the last unsanctioned event and you absolutely killed it. Thank now, you. this time, you're switching around your role. You're gonna be on the other side doing some judging. What do yeah. you think about that and how are you feeling about this park? Yeah, so judging, I'm a little nervous. I've never done it before for like a professional event. Uh, so I get to be on that side of the table, which is exciting. And I'll, I'll, I get to feel the judges' pain because I know we've been a little hard on the judges over the years. So now I get to see how that feels like. Um, and as far as the course, it's super unique. It's a real different course. Um, something that makes me happy to be a judge because I personally don't have the skill set to really shine on this course. So I'm, I'm really excited to see how a lot of these guys are going to use this course and the, the creativity we're going to see. We're gonna take it outside, check in with Chris Roberts, who's wandering around the parking lot. Chris, what's going on down there? Wait, are we rolling? Yeah, we're rolling. Are we rolling? Oh, she's deaf? Yeah, she's deaf. I know sign language. Can I jump in here real quick? Deshaun Jordan! Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Ça va quoi? Ça va, ça va. Ça va, ça va. <laughs> How we darn? We darn good. I wanna see a kickflip like you did at Street Park of Tampa. Yeah, 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 I've been practicing. You ready? Yeah. I wanna see it in Ollie this time. You ready? I'm ready. Yeah? Ready to get warmed up. Oh, Hold really? on, bro. Where, where are your wings, man? No, this guy flies <laughs> crazy, bro. Wheaties this morning? Acai bowl. This fucking guy. He didn't bring me one. Maybe a fakie tray. Okay. Excuse Maybe us, no. please, man. Um, <laughs> oh, you thought we were going to talk to Kelly Hart? Huh? I wanted to see what this was. This was a... Uh, oh, it's a water filtration system, man. Maybe an ollie tray. Got it. What do you think about the contest? I want to see a kickflip over a street. We'll bring a street in and uh, I'll take a little bit. Who's judging this? You and who Me, P-Rod, and uh, Tori Pudwell. Wow, what a combo. Oh, and I'm not saying anything bad about Tori <laughs> or P-Rod. <laughs> Maybe an only inward heel. If a bearing pops off, you come to me. I'm gonna have a tool in my back pocket. I'm gonna have extra bearing. I'm, I'll, I'll be your caddy. So you got your helmet? Yeah, it's in the car, I'll go grab it. Perfect, perfect. Let's make it easy for us and just do a shove it. Maybe, sometimes, no. How do you say uh, uh, winner in French? Uh, you can say champion. Champion. 
I'm already calling it right now the winner. I'm already calling it winner. You know what I, I, I'm gonna tell? I'm gonna say right now, winner. You're gonna, you're gonna win. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> sure. And potentially, no, no, and win. Oh, okay. All right, you got high hopes for me. I like it. Cause I love you, bro. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I need to put this in my hand. Yeah, I'm lost. Thank you. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna get right down to it. We've got two 45 second runs to come. We're gonna kick things off with Elijah Burrell. Your 45 seconds starts. Once you pop your tail. Once you pop your tail. Santa Monica boy. Very stylish. Very. Time's gonna start once he pops the tail. Ooh. For first run jitters. Big round of applause. I, I like that everyone was cheering for him. Big round of applause during that. Love that. All right, 30 seconds left. Remember these are 45 second runs and we are taking the best of the two run scores. Ooh. Coming in at the stairs. Ooh, I was saying before the cell, when we were watching the pre the, the pre skating, it's so amazing to watch these guys in person. Incredible. It's incredible. That is time right there for run number one with Elijah Burrow. Give me your thoughts. What do you think? Uh, that was quick. That was a quick 45 seconds. Especially when you have that first three flip where he falls, it's like that eats up so it much time. It eats up a lot of time. And but I, it was a good run nonetheless. It was great. Let's see what the judges say. Five from Paul Rodriguez, five from Tori Pudwell, 4.5 from Kelly. Kelly's being tough. He is being a little tough. Next skater in is Mason Silva. That point five was probably for the fall. Skater of the year. Current skater of the year. Look at that. Tough act to follow. Back 180 nose grind. Ooh. Beautiful. It's so casual. It's so casual. I love it. Nice backside flip up the Euro. Ooh. Just the way he pops out of that back blunt. Uh -oh. oh! Oh! He hung on to he it. That was amazing. It. He saved that one. I can't believe how many tricks he's got. Ten seconds left. Beautiful. One more Jeez. trick. Oh! And he held. He held on. I told him before the show I wanted him to do something like he did a skate park at Tampa. That oh. was close. That was, it was that getting was there, it was getting there. We want that fakie flip though. Oh my God. All right, how does that one compare to Elijah? Well, obviously he didn't fall. Yeah. And he hit a lot more obstacles very quickly. Scores coming in, seven, seven, and seven. Hey, make sure you guys give me some dirt bombs. Next skater in, Chris Jocelyn. Oh, going down on that shifty flip. He had that kick flip every every try during practice. That's it's always difficult. Your first run, you got the first run jitters. Varial and, heel. And Jocelyn is a very consistent skater. Probably one of the most consistent I've ever seen. But we've talked about it a few times throughout the day. This is a really, really unique park. Yeah. It's tough to skate. It's not it's not your standard course. It is very difficult. I was talking to Tori Pudwell about that earlier too. Tori is like, I I probably would not even skate this one thing in this one. Nice backside big spin down the stairs. And that is time for Chris Jocelyn on run number one. He's definitely gonna be looking to that second run. The pressure flip did it for me. That's <laughs> that's what really did it for me, put him over the edge. Scores are in, Paul Rodriguez with that three, Tori with a two, Kelly Hart with a two. Honestly, fair scores. Next skater dropping in, Taylor Kirby, run number one. Taylor Kirby kick flipped a street. A large street. Just to let street. you know, yeah. Yeah, that last video part that he had was incredible. Wow, beautiful Smith grind. Was that a Smith or a feeble? feeble. I couldn't see it. Backside big spin. Beautiful blunt. Such a good back blunt. Beautiful blunt. We've seen two back blunts today, and man, people are making that trick look good. Yes, switch hard flip on flat. 
That's what we're here to see. Not the trick I would have thrown out in, my, in the middle of my run, but uh, great. I know that that is absolutely a tough one. Yeah, kickflip back 50 down, flat down, and that is time for Taylor Kirby. Woo! Man, with a nice little uh, Nolly period trip. on the end of that. Nolly, Nolly 360 trip. flip. I'm excited to see where the judges go. Scores are in for Taylor Kirby, seven, seven, and seven. We got a 21. Let's head down to Spanish Mike, who chatted with Deshaun Jordan before the contest. I'm with the champ, Deshaun Jordan. Deshaun, how, how are you feeling today? Good, chilling. I haven't been in the spark in like a year, so I'm stoked to come skate it. Everything, it feels like my first time here because it's been that long, but it's a fun park. It's not as intense as the Nigel's Nige, Nige, Park was, so it's a little bit more funner, and you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Um, no, what was the la when was the last time you actually were here? Probably a damn am. I think it was the damn am waxing one, which was like years ago. Wow. It was I like waxing's first time in states that he skated the damn am. This I one, is, I yeah. That. Um, do you feel like you're gonna take the same approach at this park, uh, how you did Niger's, or are you gonna have a whole different approach? Um, I don't know. I'm still trying to put some stuff together, like vibe the park out for a little bit, see how I can flow it, but. Yeah, I'm just going in kind of just like open-minded. I don't know what the plan or the strategy going to be. I'm just kind of like winging it right now, so it'll come together. I mean, what can I say? My man said it's going to come together. So you see what he does, and you see what we do. So he's not playing around. Deshaun Jordan, my man. Good. Yes, Good sir. Time, Already. All day. So I'm, I'm going to kick it back to Cannon. Thanks for that, Spanish Mike. Next skater in, Deshaun Jordan. Oh my god, I cannot believe he held on to that kickflip. That kickflip fakie was incredible. That He like caught that primo, halfway flipped, and pulled it out. I mean, the thing we were talking about consistency earlier, everybody here is consistent. Oh, if he would have rolled away from that, I would have been like, oh man. We saw that really nice back over crook. I can't wait to see the... Uh, the laser flip? The laser flip. Yeah, Thank you. he's got them all. That was beautiful. If I don't see a laser flip out of Deshaun today, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed. I think you're going to see it in best trick. Okay. I have a feeling he's going to bring it. Score six from Paul, six five from Kelly, and a 5.5 from Tori Pudwell. Okay. Things are just getting started, and we have lots more skating to come after the break. But before we do that, let's take a closer look at the course with the course preview presented by Monster Energy. This is Deshaun Jordan. We're here at the unsanctioned event number two. We're at Volcom headquarters. It's a super unique park. Definitely a park to get creative on. It's different from all the other courses. You're not gonna get your average contest game you would get like at a normal, you know what I mean, structured street plaza. We got the triangle right here. Some people will probably be airing it, either front side to fakie, transferring, you know what I mean, getting creative with that as well. In the back, we have an almost vert quarter pipe. I, def I seen a burl and a shod going crazy in that thing earlier, getting some air, back nose blunts, all that. We got the little Euro right here, leads you up to the corner section. As you make your way around, you kind of got some more quarter pipe hips and corners over here, which also flow in the section. A nice bank to roll in to hit this middle A-frame with the ledge across it. Last but not least, we got the big section. We got two hubbers on both sides, so you can skate it, goofy, regular. Either way, super convenient. The rail in the middle, so you can hit that both ways. But other than that, yeah. We got mad rippers out here today. Everybody's different styles, different tricks, different. So you guys will see a lot of dope skate on this course. And yeah, tune in. Welcome back everyone to SLS Unsanctioned presented by Monster Energy. We are making our way through our first runs. Let's take a look at our current leaderboard as we continue on. Halfway through run number one, we've got a two-way tie between Mason Silva and Taylor Kirby right now in the top spot with a 21. Deshaun Jordan in third with an 18. Elijah Burrell, 14.5, and Chris Jocelyn at the bottom. But we've got five amazing skaters yet to drop in and lots more great skating ahead. Next skater in, Tom Asta. 45 seconds on the clock. This will be interesting because I didn't really see Tom getting warmed up. 
he did not do a lot of practicing. Tom Asta is always the type of guy, too, that he just skates. A lot. He doesn't need to get warmed up. Backside flip. Nice. Back tail down the hubba. This is the first time I've seen him skate today. Oh, front three over the hip. Oh, oh going for that switch heel flip down the steps. We've got six seconds left. Checking the text. I think he's, yeah, you have to. <laughs> like Cream Campbell checking his pager. Yeah. Midline. Yeah. All right, we got 4.5, 4.5, end of five from our judges. Oh, my favorite, Milton Martinez. I cannot wait to see what happens. He is in on the course. Look at that right there. Backsmith up and across. Oh, ho, ho. he had that crook bonk. Off oh the wall, he hangs onto the kickflip. Wow. Over the gap, front side nose grind. Wow. Transfer backside tail slide. <laughs> oh! He almost, almost missed the rail. He went so fast. Oh, Kickflip board slide, man. Wow. He has just about 10 seconds left. <laughs> He's like, what do I do now? I don't know. And that is time right there for Milton Martinez, run number one. Very impressive to see that man skate in real life. You, you, you see him in videos and you're completely amazed and then you see him in real life and you're absolutely amazed. All right, scores in. 6.5 from Paul, seven from Tori Pudwell and 7.5 from Kelly Hart. Oh man, look at this. We have a three-way tie right now. Milton Martinez, Taylor Kirby and Mason Silva all with scores of 21. And there's still three skaters left. Next skater in complete opposite of Milton Martinez. Super tech, super gnarly. Aurelian Giroux. Three sixty flip up the Euro gap. Nose one slide down the hubba. He Aurelian will heal three sixty flip anything. He looks really focused right now. He 360 flipped Tony Hawk's uh, channel, in a Tony Hawk's ramp. Whoa, that was huge. Not something I would expect out of that man, but uh, he, he done did it. Oh. oh man, that would have been a great way to end it, but a solid run from Aurelian right there. Scores are in, we got 6.5, 6.5, and a 6.5. Ishad Ware is coming in next, but before he drops in, let's take it down to Spanish Mike, who got to catch up with him before the contest. Come chat with me, come chat with me. I want to know, what are you bumping right now while you're skating? Uh, I'm bumping some Lucky. Okay. Yeah. Hip hop? I've never heard of it. You never heard of Lucky? Lucky? That's the actual artist? No, I haven't heard of it. Yeah, you need to start knocking that big dog. All I got to say is, bro, it's always good seeing you, and it's always good times, bro. You know, I'm just trying to have fun out here. Everybody out here is the homies, and it's and uh, no matter how it goes down, it's always it's always good vibes. You know what I mean? I, I just hope I can do the best that I can do, and we'll see from there. Bro, you hear? Ashad's the man, bro. That's all I gotta tell you guys. Cheers to that. Cheers. Shout out Monster Energy for supporting this. Thank you. Thanks for that, Mike. You gotta get on that lucky stuff immediately. Yeah, Shad is one of the most amazing skaters to watch in this contest. Dropping in to Shad Ware. One of my favorites. Front side flip, up the Euro gap. That switch blunt on the quarter pipe is so much more difficult than it looks. Into the back boneless. I'll tell you what, not only is Ashad a gifted skateboarder, he is a extremely funny guy. Yeah. He is hilarious. Go watch his nine club. Oh, wow. man. Pop shove it 50-50 down the rail. 
I was gonna say, you know, what makes the shot so special is like the consistency, but he always throws something out that you just wouldn't expect. He's got like a lot of the really standards that are so good, but then pop shove at 50 on a round rail, like out of nowhere, it's unbelievable. Not the easiest trick in no. a run. That was a great run. So we got 7.57 and a 7.5. Ishad Ware is now the leader and that puts Ishad on the top spot. All right, next in, Luis Lopez. Love that 5-0 onto the top, up to disaster, and then right back in. Oh, that was amazing, so quick. Wow, if there was one skater in here that you could skate exactly like, who would that be? I mean, right now, I'm feeling like I want to skate just like Louis Lopez. I would say either Louis or Ashad. I mean, did you just see that combo? He did big flip up, Smith down. I, it, it's just amazing. He looks so comfortable. Front Tail's tail, biggie, oh. no! And that is time, but he had a great run. I think we're going to see a really good score. That was a fun to watch run. Absolutely. All right, scores are in. Eight from Paul. Eight from Kelly and 7.5 from Tori. That means that Luis Lopez has now shot himself up into that top spot. Wow. All right, so with our first runs in the books, we've got Luis Lopez in the top spot with a 23.5, Ashad Ware in second with a 22, and then the 21 gang. We've got Mason Silva, Taylor Kirby, and Milton Martinez all tied up for that third place. Run number one is now behind us, but we still have run number two coming up and everyone is putting it on the line. When the skaters are putting it on the line, we always have to worry about injury and recovery. So before we take a break, let's take a look at the PowerDot Recovery Science Moment. Thanks guys. Today we're gonna be talking about low back pain, very common with athletes, especially skaters. Landing on your hip, landing on your back, and causing that compression can pinch that nerve and that goes down into the leg and causes numbness and some tingling, and that is not good. In comes PowerDot. PowerDot can help these skaters in two different ways. Using the strength mechanism on the PowerDot that can help strengthen your abs and strengthen your low back muscles, thus preventing some of the injuries that can occur to your low back. Also, PowerDot is great to help muscle spasm and reduce inflammation. Placing the power dot onto specific areas in your low back can also diminish some of the spasms in your low back as well as diminish some of the inflammation that occurs from some of these injuries. SLS Unsanctioned 2, brought to you by Monster Energy, proud sponsor of Street League Skateboarding since 2010. Power Dot, get 10% off with code VIP at PowerDot.com. And Tax Act, this tax season, file for less and get more with Tax Act. Welcome back everyone to SLS Unsanctioned presented by Monster Energy. We've got our first runs in the books, but we still have one 45 second run for all the skaters yet to come. Before we get into that though, let's take a look at our current standings. Louis Lopez is sitting in first with a 23.5, followed by Ashad Ware with a 22, and behind them, we've got Mason Silva, Taylor Kirby, and Milton Martinez all in a three-way tie for third place. All right, run number two coming in right now. Let's drop our first skater. Elijah Burrell in for run number two. Unable to get that 360. I'll tell you flip. what, he was nailing that every try in warm-ups. The added pressure as soon as that clock starts is completely different. Yeah, true. The Wally in. Oh. Hey, you know what? To tell you the truth, I don't know what's more nerve wracking skating here with this limited amount of people or maybe a street league with thousands of people because it's more loud in there. This is more of an intimate setting. There's like, there's more eyes on you in street league. But here, it's all your peers' eyes. It's a different setting. It definitely seems as though this is like really relaxed, really fun. Scores are in for Elijah, 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Next in we got Mason Silva. Coming in very fast. Wow. I can't believe he hung on to that. 
Wow! Back 180 nose grind. This guy is magical. He really is. And he's a young dude. He's like 24. He's a young dude, man. He's got a whole career in front of him. Look half, at that half, half cab, cab crook. crook. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nose blunt. Oh, Ooh, that front big spin was like, like slingshot. God, that front big spin can, can get away from you. All right, so we'll see where the judges go. First score is definitely going to be the one he's going to stick with for that 21. Oh, I wonder if I'm going to be incorrect in that. Oh, seven. No, super consistent. Seven, 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 21 yet again. Here we go. It's true. Next in, Chris Jocelyn. Hey, makes that there shifty flip to start things off. Hopefully that's a good sign for things to come. Well, that, that first trick sets, sets the mood, sets the tone. Varial heel up the Euro gap. Nice, Nolly heel in. Little, little tail, tail slide on the wall ledge. Jocelyn stomps it. Wow, Nolly oh! front nose to spit your board out to the crowd. Love that. He's got five seconds left. Gap up to lip slide. Hopefully he can make whatever it is. Nolly back Ooh. heel. Oh, getting away from him. That's going to do it for Chris Jocelyn in the run section. Scores are coming in right now. Six from Paul, 6.5 from Tori, and a six from Kelly Hart. Next skater in, Taylor Kirby. Taylor was tied up there with the 21s. Ooh. Gap up to front blunt. Feeble grind on the ledge. Oh, the big, big flip, flip up the Euro. That's a good one. I like that we've seen two big flips up the Euro today. Beautiful. Peter I think he, blunt. Bro, I think I think Taylor might be a sleeper in this contest. Especially when it comes to the Nolly Hart. And by sleeper, I mean I don't maybe didn't expect him to be as cons I don't know. I you know what I mean? Like I look at these guys like Ashad. You know, you <laughs> expect those guys to do well, right? Yeah, I agree. Taylor's doing great out here. Scores in 5.5 from Paul, 6.5 from Tori, and a six from Kelly Hart. Coming in next, we've got Deshaun Jordan. Deshaun Jordan about to come in hot. Yep. Nice 360 flip. Makes the kick flip much more comfortably this time. I like the sketchy one better. It's way more exciting. It's definitely exciting. Wow. Oh. Front three lip. Blood oh. kick flip fakie. Wow. 360 flip, 50 50. It went right to his feet and it was like they met the hubba at the perfect time. It was it like he so just good. ollied and did a 50 50. Front blunt. Oh. oh, man. Trying to go for that back 180 nose grind. I wish he would have made that, but that was a really solid run. Wow. Overall. Look at that. Paul Rodriguez, first one to give a score with a solid okay. eight. Hey, I like that. Eight from Kelly Hart. Win an eight from Tori Pudwell. That's right, Deshaun Jordan, 24. Now up in the lead, Louis Lopez in second place with that 23.5. And Deshaun out here going for the repeat today. Next skater in, Tom Asta. Uh-oh, wow. I thought he was gonna mess up on that nose grind. Backside flip getting away from him. Smooth back tail down the hubba. Like it was nothing. Oh. That is front, a, that's a tough hit to front three. The front three just barely got away from him right there. It's really small and it's got some transition. It's a weird one. 
All right, he's got five seconds left. Coming in, switch. There's that switch oh. heel. Almost. He stomped it, but unable to roll away. Scores in, two five from Paul, two from Tori, and two from Kelly. Next skater in, Milton Martinez. I'm excited about this run. Uh, I think you meant next skater flying in, Milton Whoa! Martinez. He legitimately caught the uh, the escalator up and almost flew into the wall. And that just destroyed his whole line. When he, when he fell in that first trick, you really got nowhere to go after that. 25 seconds left. Wow! Oh, how did he even He's roll away out of from the that? course. He's coming back in the course. Oh, oh went for that kickflip wow. lip slide. He was last year's skater of the year. That is correct. Well deserved. And that's time for Milton Martinez. He'll stick with that first run score. I'm excited to see what he's got for us in best trick. Mil Martinez flies into his interview with Mike over there. Thank you, Milton. <laughs> Milton, Milton, you good? I told you, dude. Yo. Yo, Milton, since we got you here, you think we get a quick interview? Yeah, all right, cool. Sure. Um, I was telling the other guys earlier today, I was saying, yo, that gap to nose grind, when you do, do stuff like that, do you actually even think or you just go for it? I just go fast. I try to go fast. I don't really think. I mean, I've been doing nose grind for a long time, you know, so it's kind of, you know how to do it. I give you so much credit, bro. The way you skate, I was, I was, I'm just blown away on how you just like flow on every single thing. Yeah, Naja actually uh, said he got his money on you. <laughs> no way, dude. I fucking suck. But it's fun, you know. It's fun to be here skating with all the homies. Just like skating, you know. One more day skating. That's yeah. it. I don't think about the contest and all that, you know. But chilling. We're here. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you, man. Well, good seeing you and uh, have fun. Bro, Milton Martinez, bro, he came flying in. I got to get the interview. He told you what he told you guys. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got to just, I got, I got to recharge. I, I'm, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Thanks for that, Mike. Good luck with the recharge. A next skater in, Aurelien Giroux. Big 360 flip up the Euro gap. Wow, 180 that was some authority. back 50. Switch back 50. Little lip slide transfer. <laughs> Woo! That is a huge frontside here. Kick flip up. We've got six seconds. Back nose blunt. Wow. And. All right, blunt kick from Fakey. That was a great run from Aurelian. That was amazing run. I'm excited to see where the judges go with that one. Eight, seven, and eight. All right, Aurelian now in third place with a 23. Louis Lopez in second, 23.5. And Deshaun in the top spot with a 24 right now. But Ashad Ware dropping in. Oh, that was a great frontside play. I wonder. I want to know what he's listening to, and I want to know how he keeps those headphones on his head. Because those things would just fly off. Nasty. They would fly off my head easily. He's good at everything, including keeping the headphones on. It's incredible. One fifty-fifty grind. Those things would be flying off. They'd be on the other side of the course. Oh, there's that oh. top 50. Now, is that a land? Is that a I, land? I mean, or is a, that a is that a half score? It's a contest make. It just makes it just makes everyone happy. Is that a point five? <laughs> or is that a one? We'll see what the judges. We'll see. All right, score five, five, and five. All right, scores in 15. Next skater in, Louis Lopez. Louis currently in second place. Smooth back tail. 
He just has so much control. I mean, talk about having fun on your skateboard, even during a contest. Oh, oh, the big flip getting away from him. That's a tough one. I'm not going to lie. The big flip is a tough trick to land consistently. Especially in the middle of a run. Smooth, yeah, smooth I mean, the Euro gaps. Front little side bit, flip over the bulk of stone. A little easier to land up a Euro gap. It's still a eh, very tough trick to land. It's, it is definitely tough. Oh, he was. Go it looked like he was going for that 180. He was going for the switch crook for sure. 4.55 and a 5. Judges' scores are in. Louis going to stick with that first score. That's going to do it right there for the run section. Right now, Deshaun Jordan in the top spot with a 24. Louis Lopez in second with a 23.5. And Aurelian Giroux with a 23 in third place. I can't wait for best trick. We've got five attempts coming up for each skater. Lots more amazing skating. But before we jump into best trick, let's kick it down to Spanish Mike, who's hanging out with our amazing judges panel. We were down on the floor with the skaters. Now we're here with the judges. We're with Kelly Hart, Tori Puddle, and Paul Rodriguez. Let's see what their take is on what's going on. Kelly, what's happening, dog? Yo, I was aggressive, bro. I like it. Hey, I'm good. Everything's great. Here with great judges. Kill well, after re-reviewing the leaderboard, we're definitely assuring that the standings currently are exactly where they should be. <laughs> First off, I want to say, man, you're doing a great job out of here, man. Thank you. Doing great. Your beard's lined up nice. Shout out to Ollie the barber. But anyways, uh, we're having a great time judging up here. Tori's being a little bit of a, a, a stickler a bit. He's, he's a bit of a stickler, but other than that, you know, I think we're pretty accurate. I, I think it's teamwork at the end of the day, even though he's a stickler and he's, he's a tough guy. You know, we all work together and look at this, look at, look at the leaderboard. Hey, That's where we're supposed to be. We're look to at, <laughs> we're here to judge and we're judging. <laughs> Yeah, right now it's one of those moments where it's just like everyone's just having fun, just practicing what their next set of tricks are going to be. I'm thinking it's the best trick, so uh, yeah, you just got to stay tuned and keep watching. Oh, shit! <laughs> Scared me. I thought I was about to go up to the deep end. But we're not. So thank you, Street League, for having me once again. I don't know why I'm back, but I'm back. So uh, thanks again, and um, enjoy some great skating. Welcome back to SLS Unsanctioned, presented by Monster Energy. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. We have best trick coming up. That is five best trick attempts. We're taking the top two scores and we're adding it on to the highest run score. And let me tell you, the best trick is called the best trick for a reason. I love the best trick contest because these guys are out there, they're doing their run, they're having fun, but this best trick, you get to really see the hardest tricks go down. Best trick about to kick off, but before that, let's head down to Spanish Mike, who's trying to wrangle Mason Silva in. Uh, hey, you think we could chat for a second, Mason, or you got a moment? He's got a moment for me. He's got a moment. I got nothing to do here. Mason, what's happening, dog? I, I see I see you're trying this gap to Smith up the kink in. Is that one of your best trick uh, tries, or are you just having fun right now? That last try made me think no, so I got to rethink my whole shit. Do we need some wax? Should we get some wax, wax this up? What's going on? I'm going to slide onto my back if I use wax right now. I'd rather stick, I think. Yeah, you're right. I, I'm, not, I'm not a big on transition skater. I just like to skate flat and stay yeah. as low to the ground as possible. So seeing you do that, I was just going off the strength of maybe you need a little bit of wax, but. I think I think I probably do. And Or I'm just going to hang it. I'm going to hang it up, you know. Well, I'm glad to get to chat with you for a second. And I want you to just go have fun and uh, good hanging. Yeah, no worries, Mason. How's Mason Silva, folks? 2020 Skater of the Year. He ain't playing games. He was just playing right now. But when he really gonna get to it, you always gonna see. You gonna see, you gonna see. Yeah, I hope we're gonna see Spanish Mike. All right, best trick starting right now. We're gonna get going with Tom Asta on attempt number one. Tom Asta making his way to the hubba. Oh, going for the kickflip backside nose grind. Unfortunately, not able to lock in. So that's gonna be a zero right there for Tom. Next skater in is gonna be Elijah Burrow. Getting the knucks from Ashad. Dropping in on that tight quarter pipe. Whoa! Wally knows one slide. Elijah Burrow, that was a way to kick things off for him. Dude, that, felt, that, that felt, that was gnarly. I thought that that was insane. It was. You can give me, you can give me a 
100 tries, I ain't gonna do that. Judge is giving a little insight on their scoring there. 7-8-7. Seven, seven. That's a good score. Listen, not the most technical trick, but I would say that a lot of people don't do that trick. Next skater in is Chris Jocelyn. He's really going to need some good scores. I think he's going to do a Nolly 360 heel. Wow. Whoa. Okay, so Nolly inward heel back 180. Like a revert, yeah. It was like, like a... kind of almost like half inward heel. Yeah. That was amazing. I think, okay. a lot, I think a lot of the newer generation would probably say ghetto bird, but it's not. But that's a but that's a hard flip 180. Exactly. You know? But I've heard this trick be called that before. Well, wrong. Thank you. All right, 8.5 from Paul, 8.5 from Tori, and an 8.5 from Kelly Hart. These are some hard judges, dude. All right, Chris Jocelyn scoring 25.5, pushing Jocelyn up in the top spot with a 44. Spanish Mike right now searching for Chris Jocelyn after that crazy last trick. Mike, what's going on? The search for Chris Jocelyn. Where is he? Chris, there he is. Dude, I was looking for you all over, man. I was running up and down the skate park. Yo, how do you feel about that uh, last trick that you got? Uh, you know, it put you in first place. Oh, it did? Yeah, you're in the leaderboard, dude. You're in first. I just, my last check right now. Oh, I had no idea, but that's dope. I'm just happy it didn't, like, or that it actually kind of inward healed and didn't do a Nolly heel flip sex change because I almost throw up on myself when I do that. I'm just like, ooh. Yeah. So the fact that it inward healed, I'm like, cool, all right. I was getting confused. I'm saying Nolly inward heel back 180 or Nolly inward heel ghetto bird. Like, how would you call it? You know, like, is it considered a ghetto bird? When I first learned it, people called it Nolly doo doo bird. So we'll run with that. All right, so Chris pulled the Nolly doo doo bird. All right. Um, so what do you? What are your thoughts now? I mean, you got six more tries, right? Left. Four more tries. Four more tries. So you have any other ideas of what you're gonna pull out? Yeah, a little, little some, some. I got. I mean, I got some more technical tricks like the cab flip or the Nolly three heel. But we'll see. I might try to get like something else to solidify a fourth score, just to. Or no, they only take three, huh? But I had a terrible run, so I need to at least get one more good single score. Well, we wouldn't consider it terrible. We would just say that you were just, you know, wrong side of the bed, but let's just say that you were having fun at the same time. Never thing's ever terrible. But um, I think I want to see at least the cap flip, maybe. If you can. I'm not, I'm not putting pressure on it. I don't want to be the one to say he tried it and then missed it. Then I get a blame for it. You're looking at me. No, I don't want that. But hopefully we can see the cap flip and everything else you got uh, in your bag of tricks. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that, Spanish. Well, good seeing, good hanging, Chris. I'm glad I found you. I was looking all over for you, man. Uh, yeah, good to see you. Well, back to you guys. Thanks for that, Mike. We got Milton Martinez dropping in, making his way across the course, coming at that big quarter pipe. He's going the long way. Oh, that was amazing. Wow. Just a nice alley-oop backside ollie. Woo! I'm stoked to watch the judges score this because that is so drastically different than what we just saw from Jocelyn. And it was right there in their face. Yeah. They could have put a sticker on the bottom of his board, get some photo incentive. He was literally like, hey, check this out. All right, five, five, and a five. He's getting a score of a 15. Judges are making it clear that an alley-oop backside ollie is not going to get the high scores. Taylor Kirby, next skater, dropping in for attempt number one in best trick. Oh, crooked grind. Wow. Down, flat, down on the wall hubba. That was amazing. That was equally impressive he's, to me. Well, he's kick flipped a street before. Scoring for Paul, six. Kelly Hart giving him a six. And Tori, all right, 6.5 from Tori Pudwell. So, scores in for Taylor Kirby, 39.5. That's putting him up into second place behind Chris Jocelyn. Jocelyn right now, though, with a commanding lead at a 44. Next skater in, Mason Silva. Wow. Going up that little rainbow on the quarter pipes, got to be difficult, man. Next up, we've got a shot where? Going up to that quarter pipe. Coming in switch. Going for the switch pop, shove it. Oh, unable to make it happen right there. Interesting way to start off the best trick switch pop shove it you wouldn't think that Ashad would be doing that looks like he got a little hot pocket on his ankle there next skater in Aurelian Giroux wow oh that's pretty serious this is going to be attempt number one for Louis Lopez 
Oh, a little front, front side, side flip, flip the whale. over the rail. Over the whale. Over the whale. <laughs> <laughs> Unable to put it down, but it's all about their top two scores in best trick. Deshaun Jordan in. Wow. <laughs> That's the type of that I want to see in a best trick contest. All right, Tom Asta coming in for attempt number two. Oh, wow. kickflip backside nose grind. Tom is a very talented skateboarder. I'd say gifted. He's a very gifted skateboarder. Very. Scores are coming in. Paul, seven. Tori, seven. And Kelly Hart, 7.5. Next skater in, Elijah Burrell. Oh, going for that 180 switch crook. Missed the crook. Rolled away from a blunt slide, though. Rolled away. All right, threes from the judges, so that's going to be a nine for Elijah Burrell. Chris Jocelyn in for attempt number two. All right, where is he going? He's coming in really fast. Oh, man. Wow. All right, big spin. He avoids the Euro gap completely in the bank. Fatty to flatty. And I'm curious where the judges are going to go with that one. Seven from Tori, 6.5 from Paul, and 6.5 right there from Kelly Hart. Milton Martinez coming in. Oh! oh so close on the kickflip frontside nose grind. That'd be, uh, I think they have judges that go big on that one. Yeah, that would be incredible. Taylor coming in for attempt number oh, two. Oh, I think he was going Rodney Mullen on there. Dark slide that down the hub. That would be hubba. awesome. Listen, hey, Taylor might be one of my new favorite skaters. He's uh, he's really done it for me. All right, Mason Silva coming in. Oh, he's gonna get another. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna fill it back up again. Run that back. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Woo! There that you was go. awesome. Mason Silva making that cab right there. Super well done. Let's see how all the other skaters are feeling about that one. I love seeing everybody over there just getting all fired up when he makes that. It's funny that they all just laugh when he lands an amazing cab down the stairs. See, that right there shows that everybody's hanging out, everyone's having a good time. It's good vibes. Oh. That was amazing. The cab was amazing. I'll tell you what, I never even thought about hitting that set of stairs switch or faking. You gotta hit that little uh, quick transition right there. Wow. Yeah, and it's, it's a very tight, quick transition. I mean, if Mason Silva has a little bit of problem with it, you know that your boy Krob is going to have a little bit of problem. <laughs> Scores are in 5.5, 6, and a 5. Mason now in fourth place for the 37.5. Spanish Mike down on the course. He's going to find out what's going on with Mason Silva. Yeah, I, I'm, I, miss, I, miss some, I miss some funny moments right now. Yo, uh, what, what just happened? You get stuck on a rock to fakie? Two times in a row. It's look, at, look at this run up for a, for a fakie trick. It was like 10 feet. <laughs> yeah, the thought process behind that, I would, I would overthink it too. I, I, I feel you on that one. It's only in contests that happens. Only in contests when everyone's watching. <laughs> it's just, it is what it is. Um, it's all good, Mace. You still landed the cab. Hey, I still did it. Hey. <laughs> exactly. It's all good, guys. We're just having fun. There you have it. Mason Silva getting that cab after those crazy rock fakies. Next on, we've got Ashad Ware for attempt number two. Oh. oh. What was he trying, front crook? Nollie front crook? Not 100% sure. Aurelien Giro coming in. Wow. That was amazing the way, he, his like posture was so perfect. 180 switch back 5-0? Yeah. Wow. There you go, scores are in. Seven, seven, and seven. He's getting a 21 right there. So Aurelian right now down in third place with a score of a 44. 
Louis Lopez coming in for attempt number two. Oh, oh, sticking on that front side flip. I think he needs a little wax on the wheel well. Deshaun coming in. Deshaun at the rail. 360 flip, 50-50. There it is. That was if this amazing. Doesn't, if this doesn't get a nine, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. I'm just going to tell you right now. Here is another look at that 360 flip 50-50 from Deshaun Jordan on the round rail. Super amazing. Look at that crazy lock-in right there. I'm curious to see where the judges go on that one. Is that going to be a nine? Is that enough or not? We got eight. We got eight. Well, and we've got eight. So. I am out of here. Follow me on Instagram, Chris Roberts, and on Twitter, Chris underscore Roberts one. It's been fun. I will see you guys later. Have a great day. Next skater in is going to be Tom Astor for attempt number three in best trick. Oh, oh, Tom was going switch for that switch big spin. All right, Elijah Burrell in next. Wow. Whoa, that was beautiful. 180 switch crook down the rail. Smooth operator. Smooth operator. That boy Elijah wasn't playing with that. You've seen that. You. Ted, you, you've been filming this whole time. I know you got that. We need to, we need to see that in slow-mo. Can we get a slow-mo of that, please? Oh, you want to see it in slow-mo? We can make it happen. 180 switch crook down the rail. And you know what? He got on high up on the rail and got a really good grind in right well, there. Well, that man has pop. He's got pop. Judges, scores are in 7-7 seven, seven, and a 7.5. Next skater in is going to be Chris Jocelyn. All right, coming down fakie off the quarter pipe. Going for the cab flip. Oh, unable to keep it under his feet. Jocelyn still holding that top spot. Wasting no time. Milton Martinez coming in next. Oh, Milton Martinez. Attempt number three. Kick flip front side wow. nose grind down the rail. Milton Martinez coming in with the quickness. That was unbelievable. Look at that. Coming in nice and quickly. He's got that good flick right onto the front truck. That was incredible. There we go, scores are in. Seven, five, eight, and an eight. That's the scores we're needing out there for Milton. There you go. Taylor Kirby coming in next. I wow, knew he was going for the going dark, dark slide. slide. I knew it. All right, Mason Silva in next for attempt number three. Oh, oh wow. the 180 switch crook getting away from him. All right, Ashad coming in next. Coming in switch. Whoa. If Ashad can pull off that switch backside tail slide, that's going to be a huge score. Next in, Aurelian Giroux. Oh. I think he was going for the feeble. Yeah, 360 look front feeble. Yeah. Louis Lopez coming in next. Wow. 180 over to switch field. 180 over. The grapefruit grind. Deshaun Jordan dropping in now. Going at the rail backside. Wow. Was he going oh, those? Was he I going blunt? I think he was going let's go. Wow. Wow. Front 270 switch front blunt. All right, we are halfway through best trick right now, but we've got a lot more amazing skating yet to come as the skaters put it all on the line. Stick around. SLS Unsanctioned 2, brought to you by Monster Energy, proud sponsor of Street League Skateboarding since 2010. PowerDot, get 10% off with code VIP at PowerDot.com. And Tax Act, this tax season, file for less and get more with Tax Act. Welcome back to SLS Unsanctioned, presented by Monster Energy. We are making our way through Best Trick. What are you seeing? What are you liking, Chris? I'm seeing some of my, my favorite skateboarders at the highest level skateboarding, and it's blowing my mind. Milton Martinez, never seen him skate in real life. I am a super fan of that guy. He is the truth. Woo. It's been awesome so far, but it's always going to come down to those last few attempts. Let's get back into it. Going back to the top of the order, Tom Asta is going to come in for attempt number four. All right, Tom coming in at the steps. 
Coming in switch. Oh! oh making the switch big spin. Wow, he, he really caught that and brought it, brought it home. Yeah, Tom. All right, scores are coming in. We got a five from Paul, a five from Kelly, and a five from Tori. After that nice switch big spin, let's head down to Spanish Mike, who's hanging out with Tom Asta. You know, I'm just chilling right now with my man Tom Asta. He just did that switch big spin with Steez. Tom, how you feeling, man? Chilling, man. Thanks, uh, thanks for asking, you know? It's, uh, it's a good time, though, so far. Um, how long are you in town for? Just till, um, till Saturday. I got out here on Monday. I was actually down in San Diego. Heard about this. And I popped in as an alternate, actually, so came up and skated for the day. Yo, but we're gonna have you stay a little bit longer, man. Try to stack some clips out here. What, what, what? That'd be nice. I was just talking to Kelly, though. I should be back out soon. I'm gonna get back home on Saturday and talk to Kelly and figure out when I'm coming back to LA. Yeah, we need to see more Tom Austin, man. That was. We, we appreciate you skating. We appreciate you hanging, man. It's always a good time. Oh yeah, thank you, Spanish. I appreciate it. You see what it is, Tom Austin, man. We don't play games. Thanks, Spanish Thanks. Mike. And speaking of not playing games, we got Elijah Burrow coming in for his fourth attempt. Elijah currently in third place. His low score to drop is a 21.5. I smell an impossible. Oh, man, he didn't lock in right. He missed the grind. Story of my life. Uh, he's going to have one more attempt at that one. All right, so scores in. Three, four, and a three. So the judges are giving him a score, but it's he, he needs to outdo the 21.5 if he wants to move up that leaderboard. Right. Next skater in is going to be Chris Jocelyn for attempt number four. Jocelyn going for a cab flip, trying to get a big score to secure that top spot. Next skater in is going to be Milton Martinez. Where is Milton going? Milton thinks he's doing his contest run again. Oh my oh, god. Oh man, he was going for that back smith up to back tail. Back tail, yeah. And it looks so cool. Next skater in is Taylor Kirby for attempt number four. Oh, oh. so close on the dark slide. I want to see that. Me too. He's going to have one more attempt. All right, Mason Silva coming in next. Oh, did you see the way that uh, that popped and stuck up to his feet? It was amazing. So uh, Mason's going to need to make something on that next one if he has any shot of moving up the leaderboard. Next skater in a shot where. Oh, my God. Oh! Oh, man. The switchback tail foot comes off, and he rolls it. He gets it into the bank. I love that. A shot somehow hung on to that switch back tail. He literally only had one foot on the board. That was unbelievable. I love that. There you go. Oh, Paul with hits nine. it with a nine. Yes, Kelly hitting it with a nine. Tori, 8.5. And that is our biggest score of the day. Coming in, we've got Aurelian Giroux for his fourth attempt. Aurelian trying to get that 360 flip front feeble. He needs a big score if he wants to move up the leaderboard. Louis Lopez in. There we go, 180 switch feeble down the rail. I love that he took it out to switch too. Right. Really getting the right. shoulders all the way around. Here's another look at that 180 switch feeble. Take a look at the way he just bones his legs out right there. Super poked, so comfortable, truly amazing. Scores are in, 888. So Louis now in seventh place with a 47.5. Next skater in, Deshaun Jordan for his fourth attempt. Deshaun right now in sixth place. Oh, oh man, he went for it again. That front 270 switch front blunt down the rail. It's gonna put a lot of pressure on Deshaun if he wants to repeat victory. All right, this is our last attempt. Tom Asta is gonna kick it off. He needs a big score if he wants to move up that leaderboard right now. Going for the Nolly Heel Crook, not gonna do it for Tom right there. Always great to see him out here at SLS though. Such an amazing skater. All right, Elijah Burl in for his fifth and final attempt. He's gonna need something big here. Let's see what he's got for us. Oh! oh, and he, oh he got his ankle right there. That was 
That was full commitment. He went for it. That's going to do it for Elijah today. What a treat to get to see him skate in SLS. Well, I hope his ankle is going to be okay. Chris Jocelyn, right now our current leader, he's got a 64. If he wants to increase that lead, he needs to put something solid down. Oh, oh! he went for the double. Was that a double? Bigger spin flip. Bigger spin flip. Thank yeah. you. So that wow. means that Jocelyn's score is locked right now. That's 64, and that is the score to beat. He's got a target on his back right yes, now. Yes, he does. Next skater in, Milton Martinez. Here he comes, coming in really fast. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. He wanted to go around that corner and pop in that bank right there. I think that absolutely could have had yeah. the potential, but that is not going to do it for Milton Martinez. Taylor Kirby coming in for his last attempt. He needs to get a second score on the board if he wants to move up. He's got a 39.5. Oh, oh, so close. Damn. Man, if he could have put down a 20 right there, that would have gotten him up into wow, contention with Milton I Martinez. would have loved to see that. Me too. Absolutely. All right, Tori gave him a point five for going for it. Mason Silva coming in for his last attempt. He's currently down in the bottom, but he doesn't have two best trick scores. Oh. Unable to get the fakie flip. That is a shame. Is Jocelyn going to win this? It's looking that way right now. We still got quite a few amazing skaters ahead. Speaking of amazing skaters, next up we've got a shot where he needs a big score if he wants to get into first. Can he do something? Oh, kick wow. the front crook! That right there could do it. That was unbelievable. All right, we're gonna need to take another look at that. Look at the way he flips into that. That back foot just finds the board at exactly the right spot. And he did that so nonchalant. That, that might have been it. That's got to be nine club. All right, we got a nine from Paul, an 8.5 from Tori, and we've got an 8.5 from Kelly. Score is in, Ashad Ware now in the top spot with a 74.5. Wow. All right, Ashad Ware in that top spot. Let's head down to him on the course with Spanish Mike. Wow, my man sitting in first. What did I tell you? You went first. See? I told you it was the music. I told you about it. I know he got the good playlist. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Fuck it up. Uh, 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 go crazy. The playlist definitely helped Ashad today, but he is not safe. We've got Aurelian Giroux dropping in for his last attempt. Wow! Oh, board breaker. Hard flip back 180. Breaking that nose off. We have two skaters left, Louis Lopez and Deshaun Jordan. Louis Lopez, attempt number five. He is down in seventh right now. He's only got one score. If he can put a score on the board, he has lots of potential to move. Oh. Bakey big flip, getting away wow. from him. All right, so a 26.5 ties Ishad Ware and Deshaun Jordan, and he needs a 27 if he wants to win. It all comes down to this right here. Can Deshaun do it? Oh, oh, he does not do it. And that means that Ashad Ware is taking wow. home the win. He is our SLS unsanctioned champion today. Let's head down to Spanish Mike, who is with our winner, Ashad Ware. Hold it up, hold it up. Thank you. Yo. Yeah. Back came off. Hey, the Back champ is here. The, the, the <laughs> champ is here. I haven't skated for a week before this. And I got a new bo old board new shoes. I don't know, I thought I was gonna do pretty bad, but I don't know. I call that champion mentality. He ain't playing around when it comes to this. Ashaw Ware, first place on sanctions two. You know what time it is, Volcom Park. You know, we're, we're gonna keep it going. We're gonna keep it going. You see what it is? Yeah. Feel the champ, champ is here. Wow, what an incredible day we had here at SLS Unsanctioned. The skateboarding was amazing. We had some great moments. Chris, what was your favorite moment? My favorite moment was Ashad winning it. Kickflip front crook down the rail. I don't even think he realized where he was on the scoreboard or anything. He was just out there skating and he pulled it off. He did it. It was truly incredible. Oh my God.
Not only did Ashad Ware win the contest, he's also taking home the Monster Energy highest scored trick with the most amazing switch back tail down the double kink ledge. Congrats to Ashad Ware. Big thanks to Volcom for letting us take over the skate park. To all the skateboarders who skated in the contest, everyone at home watching, we appreciate every single one of you, and we will see you next time at our next SLS Unsanctioned.